Norton Motorcycles and Pension Fraud. Let's talk about it inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you enjoying the channel and the series of videos. Please like, share, subscribe, leave those comments below. Check out the website revelatoralf.com and click on the bell below uh, for all the latest videos. So, uh, we're going to be talking about Norton Motorcycles, who we know have gone into administration and uh, they've uh, been taken over by BDO to try and find new investors and to save the company. Uh, so, that's an ongoing process. Since my first video, a couple of weeks ago, and announcing the administration and Norton going into bus, a whole host of uh, issues have been uh, unearthed and have come to light. Uh, most notably, uh, some financial irregularities uh, within the company at the hands of a CEO, Stuart Garner. Now, there has been an ITV News uh, report in conjunction with the Guardian newspaper uh discussing financial irregularities uh pension fraud potential uh or is alleged at least uh Hugh Garner, who's basically said that he was also a victim of uh, two of the former partners who were involved in setting up the pension scheme uh, but then many people have come forward saying that they've tried to claim back on their pension or draw down from their pension and uh, they've never been able to do so. In fact, many people are asking, well, where has all the money gone? Uh, the crux of the ITV news report, however, was more about government involvement and government financing of uh, Norton Motorcycles through particular stages. In fact, in many ways, they were heralded as the the pinup uh, motorcycle company or the pinup company uh, for the government of the time, uh, especially in dealing with uh, exports to foreign lands, and especially when the United Kingdom were going over to China for trade deals. That's when Norton were thrust into the limelight as well. However, all was not rosy, as we now know, and behind the scenes, no amount of money could uh, save this company, especially from what has been going on uh, in the past. Now, Stuart Garner apparently claims that he has been financially ruined uh, by this uh, whole uh, fiasco at Norton. Uh, but in, it's the common man again who has uh, seemed to be suffering a uh, good initial 30 initial investors who invested into the pension pot have uh, apparently it would appear lost uh, most if not all of their money they haven't been able to draw down at all um, more money that was actually lent to uh, the company from uh, government incentives that seems to have disappeared so BDO, who are the administrators now, they have to try and sort out this mess if they can and also uh, find new investors to uh, protect the workforce but uh, potentially protect the pension. Uh, there's a big black hole here so we're going to have to wait and see what happens uh, and whether uh, any uh, criminal prosecutions will ever be brought against uh, any of the parties involved. Uh, we know the two initial people who helped Hugh and Garner uh, actually set up the pension fund have uh, been prosecuted, but Stuart Garner claims that he was never involved in that aspect and he knew nothing about the financial irregularities at the time. Now, it's since come to light, of course, uh, that uh, the whole financing of the company, the whole financing of the startup has uh, come into question as well, and whether there was irregularities there or uh, criminal activities as well. Uh, suffice to say, it is a mess. Uh, regardless of whether there was good intention or not, uh, on the shop floor, I'm sure absolutely, you know, uh, honest people there. It's actually the running of the company, the financing of the company. And uh, we will see whether Norton can be saved, whether investments can be made, uh, and whether any uh, more action will be taken uh, against uh, the CEO and also the rest of the management as well. But anyway, uh, stay tuned uh, for more on this story. Uh, I'm sure it's, uh, it's going to be a story that keeps on giving. Please like, share, subscribe. Leave those comments below. Check out the website revelatoralf.com. Click on the links in the description below and the bell, and I'll catch you again. Bye now. Revelator L.